Hello my friends and welcome to yet another episode! And in today's video we got even more unique shoes as we'll be looking at a pair of plain-toe blotchers from Carlos Santos in American Bison. Coming up! You know there's something pretty interesting, unique or obscure coming up in the channel with each passing video and today is no different. And today's video we'll be looking at, as I said, a pair of uh, PTBs or plain toe blotchers from Carlos Santos, a very unique model uh, in a very unique leather, which is American Bison in a very, very heavy textured leather and uh, a very, very casual makeup that uh, will probably look like something Alden would make for most people in the America. Uh, this was a very, very special made to order that we had for a few clients since we had the opportunity to procure uh, a hide of bison and we could only make four to five pairs of shoes. And I decided that this was the best option. So what we'll be looking at today is the model in general. So you get an idea if you ever wonder about American bison or bison leather or bison shoes and how they would look in a makeup or maybe get some inspiration if you're going for a made to order and you want some inspiration about uh, what type of shoe to make, which is definitely more casual. So we'll be going into the close up and discussing all the details before wrapping up with, uh, you know, availability and sizing advice and all the goodies. So let's go. So let's begin with a close-up of these bad boys. Very, very unique pair. I'm trying on some new angles today, so let me know if you prefer that over the overhead view. And what do we have here? So first of all, and you know that this is Carlos Santos, and this is what we call a PTB, plain toe blucher. So plain toe, it means that there is no cap toe, there's no stitching here, it's just plain. And blucher, I mean, in the end, it's just a derby. So it has all like open lacing system, but you know, they're soon on the top. So there's a small difference between an actual derby and a blucher. Uh, but you know, both ways are okay to say, in my opinion. And this particular model is a bit, you know, chunkier and a lot more casual than what we usually make. Uh, partly because of the last, partly because of the leather and of course the welt itself. And so what happened was that uh, Ana Santos from Carlos Santos uh, to send me a text and told me that we have a hide of American bison and if I want to make something out of it immediately I thought of you know uh, American shoes and uh, a general American preference for more casual makeups and I thought that the plain of blotcher which is quite common in America would be a very nice fit for this particular style and leather so of course this is bison leather so it is a bit more grainy and this particular one has much more texture, a very rich texture that uh, you don't see exactly the same when you check Scotch grain leather. It's similar, but it's in a larger scale. It has a very, very interesting texture and color. As you can see as I move them around, the, the light changes the color a bit, so it can appear anywhere between a bit tan or cognac uh, to more reddish brown, so it's somewhere in between. And of course, five eyelets, quite simple, and a very interesting new last, the 437, which is quite medium round and more unusual for the more modern styling of Carlos Santos. I feel that this one was perfect for this, as you can see here, and of course, here, very, very interesting last. And this particular model also has some differences in the comes to the weld. This is a storm welted shoe, you can see from the strip of leather here. And it also has a more natural orange color uh, on, on the weld and the outsole to match the aesthetics of the uppers and keep the formality down. And at the back, uh, we got uh, our trusty Ridgeway Shoal uh, rubber, of course, just like Dynite, but in my opinion, Groupier. A bit smoother and not as chunky as Commando soles. I think that this is a very interesting makeup and you can see that it's quite aesthetically pleasing as well and it reminds me a lot of something maybe Alden would make. I hope you really like it. Uh, this is, was a very limited edition but more on that later. So let's move on. And that wraps up the close-up 
which uh, I hope was quite uh, helpful for you. It was a nice uh, insight and you know close look at uh, the leather, at this style of shoe, and hopefully gives you some uh, good idea of uh, uh, how to wear it or how to style it. Unfortunately, I cannot show you worn shots because this is a pair that belongs to a client, so I cannot wear it myself. But this is such an easy shoe to wear uh, if, uh, if your wardrobe is more casual and this will feel right at home with, uh, with jeans and chinos. I would not wear it with anything else. Uh, but those of you that have a more casual lifestyle or just want to expand their casual wardrobe, uh, this is really good, really durable, uh, the color is versatile and this will last you, well, probably outlast you. Great shoes, uh, very simplistic in, in nature, more complicated to make or procure. Uh, as I said, this particular model was made just as a short, small uh, group mate order due to the limited height, but if there is a, a lot of interest, I might bring it back in the future. Uh, for reference, uh, this model expected to cost you around 399 and 99 US dollars. Uh, pretty nice makeup and uh, I would say that uh, you know if you're interested uh, leave a comment or uh, send me an email and I, I will try to, to help you as much as I can. But in the meantime let's discuss sizing because this is also relevant for most people if uh, they find this particular last of Carlos Santos on the web and want to purchase. This last says a 437 and it's you know it's quite a medium round last it's not full round but quite round i would say one of the rarest more casual last of carlos santos and uh, this uh, design i think fits it perfectly so about sizing advice uh, this particular last fits quite true to size so you would take your regular crockett and jones size or, or carolina rain or just size down one from your regular us allen edmonds uh, for reference, let's say I'm a UK 8 in Carmina Rain, I would take a UK 8 on this particular one. And also, if you are a US 9D in Allen Edmonds, such as Park Avenue, you would also take a UK 8. So that's a nice direct conversion and easy fit. And that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, showcase of this more unique model and uh, leather. I would really like to hear your thoughts and feedback. So uh, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, uh, press the notifications button and leave a comment with your thoughts uh, your criticism or your suggestions of what you would like to see next and then i'll see you in the next video but before you go we always have a really really bad dajo coming up okay so dogs cannot operate mri machines but cats can <laughs> oh my head hurts that was really bad <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.